So as we've been saying, we've been like totally celebrating Caleb's birthday for the last, I think it's yeah, been like... It's been a week-long it's, celebration. It's a, it's a huge thing. <laughs> but just before his celebration was Mike's celebration yeah. as well. So uh, we took an awesome uh, trip over to Hollywood for mm-hmm. Mike to celebrate his birthday, but there's nothing but shenanigans that entail this. Oh my god, so. it was crazy, yeah, so. By the uh, way, I don't know, like, if you looked at a goat wrong, or you got cursed along the way, but anytime Mike is on a trip with me, travel is horrible. <laughs> Everything right. happens. <laughs> like, so true. Like, our flights are always delayed, and, you know, baggage issues, so we'll get into that right now. The other thing that was kind of a bummer, or not a bummer, but um, one of the reasons why we didn't really put out a formal vlog about my birthday weekend was because, like Steve said, we went to Hollywood, we went to Beverly Hills. A lot of the restaurants that we went to had a no-camera policy. Like, they said it on the website, it was on the menu, and... So we all picked the places that were like celebrity hotspots. So yeah, right. They want their privacy and we're going to like these, not elitist, but very high end establishments. Right. So, but yeah, every time we went, we, we had every intention of logging and then we found out we're like, Oh, there's nope, no, no way allowed. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So, but we did when we, there were a couple restaurants when we went that, um, a lot of people were taking selfies and using their phones, so we did take a little video of just our food and, and yeah. so forth, you know, so we can kind of share with you. But yeah, like Steve said, every time I travel with him, everything goes awful. It's horrible. <laughs> every single one was just miserable for all parties. Our, our flight to Hollywood was so delayed. We were about four hours late getting there, and then we fly into it was the Burbank airport, yeah. and they could not figure out the baggage situation. At one point, a man like climbed up the baggage claim ramp and just started <laughs> kicking the bags. And when I say man, I mean like one of the disgruntled passengers that was yeah, on our flight. It was flight. not an employee. Employees were doing nothing to help out. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. people were trying to scout and pl- help, and they were like, oh, there's nothing we can right. do. Exactly. <laughs> but what was frustrating was that the carousel that delivered your bags, it literally just stopped. It right. just stopped. And like there were probably like four or five bags on the ramp that people could see mm. and there was one woman she was so upset she was like that's my bag i just want to get out of here <laughs> and like i said the guy some random guy just jumped up there and just kicked all the bags yeah. down <laughs> and of course i'm getting these updates from mike via text because we separated because right. we were late like four and a half hours which meant like reservations were out of whack everything was a little bit chaotic and the whole reason why i fl- wanted to fly into burbank was it was going to be easier to navigate than <laughs> yeah. lax so we land in rush hour traffic. I'm like, this is going to be an expensive Uber. And I'm going to think Uber, Uber, Uber. So like, all right, let's go get a rental car. So I'm getting these updates that Mike's like, our, our luggage is not here. There's literally a man scaling <laughs> the baggage area just trying to get anything done. I'm like, what, were any of those bags yours? He's like, of course not. No, of course not. <laughs> mine was still stuck. So we had to deal with that. But I did get a rental car. However, that was an issue. But the only car they did have was... Um, a white convertible Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought for sure he booked it because it was my birthday weekend. He's like, I'm going to live out, I'm going to let Mike live out his Hollywood dreams. <laughs> well, let's be honest, Mike is not a white convertible Mustang guy. <laughs> but it is what we had. So right. by the, it, it all worked out by the time I had it. The luggage finally worked out yep. and we were able to head on our way uh, to our hotel. Unfortunately, we, we had like canceled dinner reservations, but we were just trying to figure out the rest of the night. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the travel behind us, I think everything else went pretty well, though. For sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We stayed at our favorite place in Hollywood, the Sunset Tower Hotel. As you know, I'm an old soul. I love, like, the Brown Derby and Hollywood Studios. So this is very, like, old Hollywood glamour. And we were able to get... Um, we, we, we had dinner at the Tower Bar. and We had cocktails. And we had steak. It was just a really wonderful night. And then we walked the Hollywood Strip, which is always kind of, like... Very, very sketchy, but it's a lot of fun. And we checked out all the junky Hollywood stores. I was not a fan of that at all, yeah, sir. He, but he this doesn't is, like that kind of stuff. This is what Mike likes to do. Like, we're going down there. I'm like, this is just, like, it's worse but than... But it's so much fun. It's worse than the strip <laughs> in Vegas. Like, it's worse. <laughs> uh, but we had a really good time. Steve uh, scouted some old classic Hollywood cocktail... Or, like, yeah, bars, Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood yeah. cocktail bars. So we jumped in a couple of those. And we had just a really, really great night. Yeah. So We definitely salvaged the day. Even though we lost four hours, we, yeah. we made up for it. For for sure. And plus, again, we're just dads on a vacation, so we stayed up late. Yeah. That oh, play. yeah. I don't think we mentioned. Caleb was not with us. We decided to do just a quick little weekend getaway, a dad's trip. It was just to celebrate me and my birthday. So <laughs> Caleb, uh, he stayed with grandma, so which he was very excited for. So yes. it worked out. 
So we wake up the next morning with plans of going to a brunch place. And this place is a place that we had at Phoenix was mm-hmm. just something that we grew up with. Grew up with, not really. But like it was like our coming of age, like it was like college days yes. and yeah. But we went to Hamburger Mary's in West Hollywood, which if you don't know, it's a drag bar. Well, it's a gay establishment that happens to be a drag show on these days that we tend to always yes. go. <laughs> so it was a drag brunch and we were super excited about it. And the fact of the matter is though, we had a really great time. It we was did. so much fun. The performers were absolutely hilarious again it was another thing where i was like i do not want to vlog this because i feel if if the drag queens had seen us with our giant camera i feel like we would have been sitting ducks for like (laughs) we would have been made fun of and like we would have been the butt of all their jokes yeah um but no it really wasn't too much like that it was pretty much just them singing their songs and during the performances right so i did have enough courage that i was able to get my phone out and get some footage for you guys to share so we're gonna throw that out right now oh well it's already been playing oh there you go oh perfect all right (laughs) Um, but yeah, we had a really, really great time. The food was actually really good. It, and it, it tastes the way it used to taste back here. Yeah. So it was, it's exactly what you want. When you have that memory, you want to relive it. That's what right. we had. So. But, um, and we, there was bottomless mimosas, which we had that was a little, that was a little much. Because yeah, cause we don't usually have orange juice in our mimosas, but they pre-batch and pre-made <laughs> yeah. this thing. I don't think you have footage of that, but we were like, the time that we were waiting from 10, 30, 11 o'clock, they were literally popping hundreds of bottles yeah. and pouring them into this, these plastic tubs. Yeah, it was just vats <laughs> of bottomless mimosa, which... We didn't really, I I guess we should have known that going in, but we didn't. And it was very juice heavy. Yeah. So we like walked out. We were like, oh my God, we drank We were full. Yeah. Like like Loki, we're full. (laughs) But we were were having a great time, right? Mm -hmm. So we wanted to keep on uh, having a good morning, afternoon. So we, you know, we got dressed up. We were nice. We were there for brunch. (laughs) Yeah. But we showed up to the Beverly Hills Hotel. We're like, there's got to be a bar. There's got to be something fun for us to do. And we walk in, the major D's like, Oh, welcome. How can I help you? He's like, well, we're just here for some drinks, maybe some light food. He's like, okay, well, you're dressed pretty casual, so I would suggest the pool bar. Yeah, I, and I thought we were dressed very nice. Like, I was in yeah, a new outfit. Exactly. And... We look great. Yeah. Like, like, pool bar, is that all you have? He's like, it'll be just down the stairs to your left. Mm-hmm. So we went to the pool bar. Yay for us. But we, we had a drink there. But we had to wrap it up pretty quickly because we had an awesome dinner. Mm -hmm. So that night was our big dinner of the weekend and we went to the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills to a restaurant called Jean Georges, which is a restaurant I've always wanted to go to in New York City, but we've never been able to go. And they finally opened one up in Beverly Hills. That was brand new. Like we're talking like well, maybe a year old, maybe at most, right. right? So, so, but this was a, it was an eight course dinner and it featured a wine pairing. Um, and we got like an early seating. Like it was, right. it's a beautiful area. It's a yeah. beautiful location. You could tell it's definitely a brand new hotel, mm-hmm. but you know, the food just was over the top. It was really good. It was, it was really, really good. I think at the end of it, we were kind of like, it was a little too much like California for us. Cause it was every, every dish a was lot of very light. It was like that light refreshing and a lot of avocado. Um, <laughs> But like I feel like like when you go to Victoria and Albert's, for you get a example, lot of savory entrees. Yeah, at, you start light, but then you really move into those heavier dishes, yeah. and you get that beef and this red sauce and all that stuff. That really never happened here. There was no like cheese course or anything like that. Yeah, so, so it was good. I don't need to go back. Agreed. Um, agreed. But it was very very good. So if you do, if you are planning to go, you're, I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. But yeah, and again, this was another place that we were not re- uh, allowed to record inside. Yeah, we weren't so. allowed to record or bring a camera. Well, and frankly, because we were trying to research this trip beforehand, we were looking at YouTube videos, nothing was there. So, yeah. So what you get from now us might be the first time you ever <laughs> see anything yeah. inside of Jean Georges. But this was definitely one of those restaurants where they were like, no cameras. But then as soon as we sat down, like literally every, every table is like person. taking selfies <laughs> They're all recording. and stuff. So I'm kind of like, we're fine. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll just be low key about exactly. it. We'll just use our phone. But one of the cool things, so again, if we were to compare these two, go to Victorian Alberts. If oh, like yeah. if if you're one one premier dining experience, we love that more. Right. So, but one of the things that I thought was also very unique was uh, the men's bathroom, which we have. We actually took video of that, and like that that sounded weird, but right. we'll just we'll just spice it in right yes. here. So here you go. All right, so we're in the bathroom, and we're only filming this because there's <laughs> absolutely no one in here. We double checked. Yes. But like, look at this in the men's restroom. They have a changing table here. So there's no excuses for dads to change their kids' diapers like there usually is. It's pretty progressive for Walmart, let's be honest. 
Yes, because we've I think we've mentioned the store before. Um, we've been here in Beverly Hills having brunch, and there was no place to change Caleb's diaper except for the ground inside right. the stall. We so. just laid our thing on the floor and changed <laughs> Caleb's diaper. So this but is like, so welcome. Yeah, it's like a gold changing table. It's so fancy, I like it. <laughs> Too bad, like you know, Caleb. Oh, you gotta go. <laughs> okay, so we immediately stopped recording because someone walked in. <laughs> but, like, awesome bathrooms. Like, yeah. I wish we had that one, Caleb. Needed. We, for sure. we don't need any more. But, right. Hey, good for you that future dads, if you have to change your kids' diapers, you gotta put yeah. here. Jean Georges, Waldo Fastoria. <laughs> yes, they got you covered. <laughs> So yeah, so that was our night at Jean Georges at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills. Yes, so that was awesome. Yeah, it was a great time. Mm -hmm. So I think it was an o I don't want to say okay dining experience, but right. uh, we also had another great dining experience the next morning. Yeah. So the final day was Sunday, and uh, guess where we went? We went to the place that we were very casual. <laughs> we had to go back and save exactly. face. Exactly. <laughs> but we knew that we had to dress up, so we definitely. <laughs> I mean, we're, we wore pants and, you know, uh, polos or whatever, right? So right. we're fine. But we went to the polo, it's polo club or a polo lounge. Polo lounge. We I went think to the called. polo lounge, which is a classic place. Like literally this thing uh, goes back to the early 1900s. Uh -huh. And this is where all the celebrities, after doing their polo, would go and have a drink and eat. So we went there for brunch. a brunch and it was, the food was phenomenal. It was, it was way amazing. too much food. Like yeah. we were so stuffed uh, walking out of there, but... It it was it was a great experience. However, it's like when you go there, you're like, what what are, what are these people around us? Like, we are definitely in Beverly Hills uh, for sure. Like, it was a definitely like like I, I want to say stereotypical, but it was like, oh yeah, we're in Beverly Hills. Just saying that the plastic surgeons made some money on these tables. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely did. In fact, there was one doctor that walked in and uh -huh. all, and like eight different tables. Everybody this knew doctor, who he was, and and they all call him doctor, doctor. Like, okay, well, I, based on where they're stopping, he's a plastic surgeon. <laughs> God, but we did have a great time there. Uh, but again, this was our our last day, so we just wanted to live it up. So we went from there to the Beverly Wilshire mm -hmm. and had uh, a few drinks and really just. Head home, right? So yeah. we, we went to the airport and wrapped it up. But I thought it was a great time, right? Right, for sure. Yeah. And we're, again, we have all this footage and photos that we wanted to share with you. But I think we've had a really good and exciting last three weeks. I think you understand why we haven't been vlogging. It's because mm -hmm. it's been a bit chaotic. But right. I think you can tell we've had some fun. We miss you all. Uh, and we're happy to get back to vlogging. It's funny, too, because we were supposed to have been done with the flooring project before we went to Hollywood. Yeah. But because everything got pushed back so much, we had to go right in the middle yeah. of the construction, which made me super nervous. It wound up being the best thing ever because we got major cabin fever. We like, did. I think we took turns at some point of turning into Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Yeah. And so it was like, like we were stuck in our bedroom, like the three of us, and like there was just nothing we could do. And once they like laid down the tiles, you're literally stuck. Yeah, downstairs. you can't walk on it. Yeah. And I felt so bad. I don't remember if we said this in the last vlog, but at one point, Caleb was like, Can I go outside and play in the backyard? Like, and I'm like, No. No. Sorry. Mainly because. Mainly because they set up shop back there. Yeah. They had their big vacuum or um, there's a big saw. The so, saw yeah, that they're cutting, cutting the tile with. There was yeah. just way too much danger out there, so it was it was not fun. And then when the project first started, Caleb was on summer break, right. so he was literally just home all day, stuck in our bedroom. So having that break of a vacation right in the middle of it of the whole thing that was wound up that was being necessary. the best thing yes. ever. Mental health for sure. Yeah, definitely. So again, our house is starting to get back to normal. So mm -hmm. what do we logically do? We mess it up. We break it. <laughs> we hurt it some way. So I'm going to go over here and show you this table that Mike oh my God. did some work on. Was it this morning? It was, no, it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. 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 So how about I go over and show you that? So this is our kitchen table and we've had it for quite a few years. I love this table. We got it from Ethan Allen. Our designer picked it out. She did the whole thing to make sure it worked with all of our chairs and everything. And when we had our dog, um, I baked a, like maybe a hundred cookies one night. Easily it was work, for yeah. Steve's yeah. work. And I placed them on the table and then we all went to bed. We woke up the morn the next morning and our dog had climbed up on the table and eaten all of Devoured them. Devoured completely. And in the process, just scratched this table yeah. to death. Like yeah. it, it looked was, like a badger went to town. Huh? I, like, I, I think I bad. cried that morning. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, my beautiful new table. Yeah. And then we had a friend who will go unnamed. 
You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> who left her water glass on the table one night and it just sweat all over the yeah. table and we woke up to just it's pretty bad, I think. <laughs> but the water damage on this table. Yes. So then, in the process of moving, we got some sticky junk on it. And so I started to like put some dissolve it on it, and you can show it now. All right. Yeah. Like you could just see it's kind of like it's lost its sheen in that spot yeah. right there. And so, it's not just right there, because Mike went to town on this <laughs> thing. He did a lot of work on this thing. He was really putting in some elbow grease here. Wow. So, but it was like sticky and gunky, so I put some dissolve it on it and um, just kept scrubbing and scrubbing. Finally, I took, this is so stupid, I took a bench scraper, which if you don't know, is this thing. It's yeah. a stainless steel bench scraper. You use it when you're working with dough and baking. This is now called the table destroyer. <laughs> and I took it and I was, cause I thought I was scrubbing off the gunk. And I come around, I'm like, Mike. It turns out I was Mike. scraping off the finish. Of oh the table. my God. He's like, look, something's coming off. I know it is. It's the table. <laughs> so I totally destroyed this table. Oh so, my God. Um, so that, yeah. yeah, this is like, again, the house is like perfectly clean, like getting clean, right? And of course, this happens. It never fails. We do one project and it kicks off another thing. So I immediately panic because you guys know me and I'm just like, my furniture. <laughs> but um, so I go and sit at my computer. And I literally get back on, I jump on Ethan Allen's website, be like, okay, what kitchen tables are we going <laughs> to replace this with? And while I'm sitting there, this happens. I have no explanation. <laughs> it's just one of those weird things. Like I'm just like I'm like frustrated that he's over here on Ethan. I'm like, this is gonna cost me money. And I guess I'm gonna come over here and just see what it's gonna cost me. I'm having a nice, enjoyable Americano, and it all came out. <laughs> and the worst part is Caleb's reaction. No, no, no. no. <laughs> worst part is Mike's. Like he doesn't say like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" Because you look closely, you can go back and look at it. Yeah. He's just smiling. I'm not smiling. You are smiling. No, big smile. No, it's one of those moments where I just heard all that liquid splash onto something behind me, and I'm like, "What in God's name could that possibly be?" And then. As, as I'm passing, this is what I get from Mike. <laughs> and then he walks over here. He's like, my house. <laughs> Not my husband. My house. My house. Because I had just destroyed the kitchen table, and now this happened. He, he was like, oh, even, even. <laughs> it all wiped up. I went out to replace it. And, and then goes, Caleb's like, don't do that. Dad, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm like, oh, I know, I know, I know. The good thing is that, so you spit up <laughs> coffee all over the place. Luckily, 99% of it went onto the, the table. Um, coffee table. Yeah. And not on the couch or the, or the rug. That's right. So, yeah. We, we've had some interesting couple days. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. The house is almost back to normal. Because that's the other thing. As soon as the project's done, you then kind of look around. And you're like, oh man, we got to put all this back. Yeah. So a lot of our bookcases are still empty and so forth. But we're getting there. Caleb's back in school. And yeah, we're just trying to get back into the swing of things. So That's right. What's the next project, Mike? I don't know. The next project is just relaxing, I think. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, we just wanted to use this video to kind of catch everybody up and try to get back, like I said, back into the swing of things, so. All right. Yep. Okay. So, well, I, guess that's <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy. Boy, it's been a long time since we've done one of those. <laughs>